There is nothing like reliving your favorite childhood TV shows. The nostalgia is powerful, but these five actors shot down reboots of their own shows. We're here to break it down. The age of reboots and renewals has left many viewers feeling extremely nostalgic while also wondering whether or not picking back up where a show left off is really all that necessary. While it's no question where fans stand on this debacle, some stars have been open about speaking their minds when it comes to rebooting even their own shows as they're simply not ready to reprise their past roles. Remember the adorable and witty Olsen twins that switched off playing Michelle Tanner on Full House? Full House executive producer Bob Boyett previously told People that Ashley expressed she had not been in front of a camera since she was 17 and that she doesn't feel comfortable acting and her twin Mary-Kate said that the timing was not it. I guess there was just so little time. See what I did there? That's not funny. Full House ran for eight seasons and turned into a Fuller House reboot on Netflix in 2016. However, Netflix canceled the show just after five seasons. How rude. Have no fear, because it looks like a sixth season has been greenlit with the premiere on November 26, 2022. Let the countdown begin. We love to see it, but we'll miss the twins. Speaking of twins, Cole Sprouse appeared on The Drew Barrymore Show and let us know that there would be absolutely no Sweet Life of Zack and Cody reboot, explaining that reboots are a touchy thing. Reboots are a tricky thing, you know? Uh, you have the, 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 the original shows, when they become successful, sit within this golden little plate of nostalgia. And when you modernize it and go back to it, it has the potential to really disenfranchise the original fan base. Although we're bummed, we're wishing Cole and his twin Dylan a sweet life, but you know who is actually living a sweet life? Sex in the City's Kim Cattrall. Back in 2019, Kim said that she would never reprise her role as Samantha during an interview for ITV's Life Story, stating, This is about a clear decision, an empowered decision in my life to end one chapter and start another. Now that there is a new Sex in the City 10 episode series coming to HBO Max, it looks like Kim stayed firm in her previous decision to part from the franchise. The eight season run of the CW's Vampire Diaries might have ended back in 2017, but the show still has a massive fan following, so much so that many have wondered whether or not the cast would be willing to revisit their time in Mystic Falls. While both Ian Somerhalder and Paul Wesley have previously stood firm on not resorting back to an all-blood diet, Kat Graham, who starred as Elena Gilbert's best friend Bonnie Bennett, recently echoed similar sentiment while dishing on her and Nina's IRL friendship, years after the series ended. Kat opened up about the possibility of reuniting with her bestie in a recent interview with TMZ saying, quote, I don't think Nina and I are interested in a reboot, but I think our friendship will be forever. Adding that the stuff that they saw on screen and the friendship and the love that I have for her is real. I think that's all people need to know. The best thing to come out of the series, however, was the friendships made along the way. Kat went on to reassure fans that some things end, but some friendships will be forever. And she's a really great person. She's really strong and she always really had my back on that show and I needed a lot of support sometimes. Our stone cold vampire hearts have officially been warmed. Some of the biggest stars in the world were produced by the musical singing competition American Idol which debuted in June of 2002 aka exactly 19 years ago. And after almost two decades, there will truly never be another judge as brash, crude, and quite frankly, brutally honest as Simon Cowell, who left back in 2010. Despite his musical expertise and knack for selecting the next big thing, Simon told Extra back in 2017 that he had turned down a job on the American Idol reboot. His reasoning to leave in the first place was his disagreement with the age restrictions placed on contestants. Many of us, like Simon, believe that talent is talent regardless of age, and really though, who are we to judge based on age? Simon eventually rested his case, but it seems like the current judges, Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie, are managing just fine without him. Speaking of reboots, click right over here to see how the iCarly cast is addressing Sam Puckett's absence on the show. And now, you be the judge. Which actor are you hoping will turn around and reprise their roles on their shows? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Ashley Mova. You guys can find me on Instagram at Ashley Mova. Bye guys.